Hey everybody, it's Ruan here from Tunnel Vision TV and today I'm just going to do a quick video tutorial on color grading and color correction using the Colorista 2 plugin from Magic Bullet. So I've got two clips here in After Effects. Um, I'm using CS6 but you can also use CS5. I think it's even available for CS4. And first of all I'm going to look at a... This is a clip from the Zombie Nation um, short film that I did for YouTube. So what we're going to be trying to do is just to get a more cinematic feel. Um, as you can see this image is quite flat. So first of all I'm just going to take the Colorista uh, plugin and just drag it onto the, the footage. And then as you can see it's it's got the basic three color wheels under primary and then you also have your secondary and your master. So what I'm going to do for this clip is under the primary I'm going to take the shadow areas and I'll just drag that into the blue. So you just drag it down until you get like a bluish color in all the dark areas in your shot, as you can see. And then what I'm going to do for the highlights is sort of drag that in the opposite direction. So just drag it this way, just to bring the sort of red color back into the shot that I took out with a, with a blue here. So you just play around with that until you get a nice, nice effect. And next what I'm going to do, I'm just going to drag the shadow exposure down. And then for the highlights, I'll push that up a little bit. All right. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the primary, uh, let me just see, sorry, the primary saturation. Just bring that down a little bit because it's very sort of high in color. So let's take it down to about minus, minus 35, that looks fine. And then what you can do as well, you can go down to the secondary tab just to add a, a vignette, just to bring out the, the subject in the, in the footage a little bit more. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to go to the mask and I'll select a eclipse for that. And I'll just rotate and move it sort of to the area that I want to, that I want to bring out a little bit. And what I want to do, I want to make everything a little bit darker outside this mask area. So I'll invert that to tell it to actually affect the area around it. And then under your secondary, I'll just drop the exposure a bit. So you can just play around with this and see what actually looks good. Let's take it down to about maybe minus two. That should be fine. And then what you can do as well, you can just go down and play with the feather size. And that will affect the, the feather of that mask. So let's take it down to about, about 40. That should be fine. All right, so let's just preview that. So yeah, as you can see, it actually it makes a huge difference. And just tweaking um, some of the color effects with Colorista, and it actually gives a nice image as well. All right, for the next shot, I'm going to be using a shot that I did for a music video. Um, as you can see, girl, red dress, and sort of singing in this foresty uh, sort of area. And what I, I want to achieve with this shot is to make everything less saturated around her and bring out the red dress. So first of all, let's drag Colorista in. And what I'm going to do here is... For the shadow areas, I'm going to push that to the to the red because I want to bring out the red in the shot. And for the highlights, I'll just do the opposite again, just to bring back a little bit of blue into the shot. And then what I'll do, I'll just drop the shadows a bit, bring out the highlights, something like that. And then what I'll do with the primary saturation, I'll take that down all the way. And let's bring it up a little bit to say around, mm, no, that's fine, minus 65. And then with these wheels, the primary HSL wheels, you can actually take out and boost a specific color, or you can make that specific color less saturated as well if you drag it inwards. So I'm going to take the red and just drag it out. And you'll see that the red in the dress will actually come out more. 
All right, and then the same as the previous shot, we'll go down to the secondary tab and I'll create a mask again, an ellipse. And let's just rotate that around, move it somewhere around there. I'll invert the mask again because I want to darken the outside areas. Go up just to the secondary, the secondary tab here. And then you can just bring down the secondary exposure. Make everything around a little bit darker. And then you can play with the feather size again. Maybe something like so. Right, so let's preview that quickly. Okay, so I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. Um, as you can see, it's really simple to grade your film to add a bit of style, color style to it uh, using the Colorista plugin from Magic Bullet. You guys can follow me on Twitter, uh, Ruan Lotter, or you can also subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Cheers. Bye.